Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Banjo Tui playthrough. I have not played this in a few days. Today, sadly, my voice is a little shot because of allergies. On the pre-stream, it was pretty rough. I actually just had a loss engine. It feels a little better, but I don't know how much longer it's going to last before it wears out again. So just forewarning all of you that uh, my voice does not sound great today, okay? Oh, you know what? Look what I just found. Did you see that? Look up here. Yeah, there's notes up there. But... Where can I fly? Did I ever find a flight pad in this area? I don't recall finding a, a flight pad in this area, right? Anyone remember if there's a flight pad around here? Chunky Jack, I'm sorry I ignored five of your messages last stream. I must have missed them. Yeah, I... I hmm. I'm trying to remember. Is there anywhere you can fly? In which case, I can go grab those notes. But I don't remember seeing a flight pad. Whoa. No, we got some eggs and power-ups and stuff, right? But... Not seeing a flight pad. Jump on door? Since somebody adding meat? Really? Can you jump on a door and climb? <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. Well, that's crazy. Thank you, Insomni adding me. I certainly wouldn't have thought of that. I wonder if there's anything else on top of these houses. I'll give it a quick look before we head off to, uh, back to World 3 to continue on. Yeah, so last time around, World 3, we were in the theme park. We were doing lots of stuff in World 3, including fighting the boss and getting various items. And we had just gotten the ability to separate Banjo and Kazooie for a bunch of puzzles. So, I'm curious, uh, will we find more stuff now in the game because we can separate, probably? And if you remember, in World 2, there was stuff with that. So... <clears throat> well, I don't see anything here. Nope. Alright, let's go to the fast travel point. And uh, we should be able to fast travel over to one of the areas and get there quickly. Look at this guy, he's on my ass. Do the quest to turn in a, a, a what is this this pass thing that keeps popping up? I don't know. Seems like game pass. The wood hollow, the plateau, or the pine grove. Right, let's go to the plateau. <clears throat> now, we could go back to the theme park right away, but since I have the ability to separate Banjo and, and Kazooie. Maybe we should go back to World 2 and find that area where we were supposed to do that to do some stuff. <clears throat> yeah, Derek, I really like this game. I think this is much better than Donkey Kong 64 and I, like, I'm having a lot of fun with it. The question is, where was I supposed to go to separate Banjo and Kazooie? <clears throat> I can't really remember where the area was. Well, it says if you turn in those game quests, you can get credit, which can eventually turn into one month of free game pass. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> nope. That's not it. That's first person. We're not doing that. I gotta find the area where you needed to separate them, and damn if I remember where it was. I don't remember at all. No, this was the gas cave where we feed the birds. This isn't it. Okay. Yes, I did play Conker's Bad for a Day. There's a playthrough of it on, on DSP Gaming right now. You can go check it out. Oh, uh, crap, man. I don't remember where this is. Now, this is the Prospector. So 
that, I don't think that, I was double checking, but I'm pretty sure that's not it. <clears throat> nope. That's not it. Ugh. We got this area here, and then there's the other caves as well, so. Hello, White Ranger Zio. Good to see ya. Cousins Adventures, the Metal Gear Solid 1 is due for a playthrough this month. What's the deal? It could happen. We'll find out. <clears throat> uh, no, I don't, I don't think this is it either. Oh, wait. Maybe this is it. What's in here? The power hut. We did this already, right? <clears throat> yeah, we already did the power hut basement. That's done. So we don't need to do this again. Damn it. I gotta find where they separate. I know there's a part where they separate in this world. I can't remember where the hell it is. <clears throat> What's over here? Two different ways. Gutter Gulch Mai. Oh, Glitter Gulch Mai. What is it? I don't remember this. Oh, okay. It's a different way. Train station. Did I go this way? I guess I did because I don't see anything in it. Oh my god. I'm lost. This state, this world 2 is like really confusing. If somebody on me says one way that I could have done that Jiggy in the Dark Cave was I could have split these guys up and one of them pressed the power button while the other one went and got the Jiggy. That's interesting, but I already got it, so... We already did this. That's not it. Okay. Hello, Botch Pro. How's it going? <clears throat> so I don't think that was the right way. I think it might be the other way through this tunnel. No, I guess not. Because I did this already, too. I remember there being a cavern in this cave, and it takes you to this, like, this red cave area where you need to split up to do a puzzle, but I can't remember where it is. Because <clears throat> I already did this, too. Yes, this is a Team Fortress 2 share. Kill Bill Charity said, I believe you said you use game share on PS4 for you and your wife. Does she need to stay activated as your primary account? I'm trying to do this with someone not sure of the process. How does this affect online purchases? Any help be appreciated? Yes. We each have to be each other's primary accounts. So, the, my, my PS4 is her primary PS4, and her pri PS4 is my primary PS4. And then what happens is when you log in, you can download games under your own account onto the other person's PS4, and then when they log in, they can play your games. How does it affect purchases? Well, whenever they buy, 
you know, it has to be uh, while they're logged in as them, obviously. And then when you, it'll be associated with their account, but then if they log into the other PS4 under their account, you could download it and you could play it. <clears throat> it's too complicated for me to explain online. It really is. It's a very convoluted thing, and it's really not straightforward, and I can't really explain it on a stream. <clears throat> so... Okay, this is Mumbo. So maybe it's over here. This is where I just was. This is exactly where I just was. Oh my god. I don't know where to go. I don't remember where the split thing is. I don't. Yes, I'm playing this on Xbox One, and this is the Xbox 360 HD version that just basically runs on Xbox One. Could it be this way? I don't remember. Nah, this is the, the waterfall. And now if I jump over there to the platform, it's going to be the underwater cave that I've already cleared. Where does... I forget where this goes. Okay. My Ranger Zio, I have the launch Xbox One. That's what I'm using. Launch Xbox One, I never got a later version. So, pretty basic. Water storage. So we still never figured out how to get the Jinjo over there. Right? It looks like... What the... Oh my god. Oh, I all I want to do is turn so I can... Look. It looks like you need to come out of that pipe. Right? But I don't know how to get into that pipe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to get into that pipe to fall out of it and go to that Jinjo. I never figured that out. And I can't, fi I can't find the spot to separate them now. This sucks. Alright. Oh, really? You can't get that Jinjo until you reach a later world, I'm being told. Okay. Oops. I, what I really need to know, guys, is where is the puzzle where you separate... Banjo and Kazooie on this stage because I saw it on this stage 100% sure and I can't remember how to get to it now that's what I need to figure out yeah. oh wait was it in here no this is the, just the, the crushing shit shit yeah this isn't it Alright. Damn it, man. Alright, and I've already done the crushing there with, with Mumbo, so that's done. There's a, there's a Jiggy up there. And I have no clue how to get up there. Maybe through that cave over there. Alright, let's see. Toxic gas cave. No, I guess not. Man, I don't know. I guess we just go back to World 3. I can't figure anything out here. 
If I had a better way to hover, I could get to it now, but I can't. My hover sucks right now. So there's no real way for me to get over there. Yeah, see? I, I had to go down way too fast. Well, I guess we're done. I guess there's really nothing else I could do here right now. Witchy World is the next stage. Uh, someone asked me, is it called Witchy World? Or Witchy World is the next stage. And that's where we're headed right now, because I can't remember where the separation part is. <clears throat> okay. La, 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 la. All right, well, it is what it is. Let's go to Witchy World. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> okay. I don't remember where Wombo's Wee Wom is. Ticket booth's closed. There's one more kid, and I can't remember how to get to bring the kid over here. I didn't bring the little scamp bat. There's still another one to find. Yeah, I can't remember. What, why the kid wouldn't come back? I forgot about that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, over here, I believe is the area where now I can split the two and get a new ability. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's in here. <laughs> Okay. Now where is that split pad? Here it is. Whoa, hatch the future. I got 20 gamer points for that. Okay. He can't attack, because we cannot attack. He can only fly, but he's fast. Whoa, he did a super jump. Here we go. Oh, this one's for Banjo? Oh, I thought it was for Kazooie. It's Banjo. I believe there's an ability early on in the game, too. It might be in the first world, the Mayan world, where it's one just for Kazooie, I think. Well, Banjo can't attack by himself either. He can do a weird super jump. Look at that. But that's it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Banjo's now got an empty pack. Why not use it to attack? Press X and round it swings. Bumps and bruises to baddies it brings. That'll be all. Dismissed. Here we go. Killed the fake Jinjo. Now what do I do with this? Nothing there. Oh, wait. Maybe I need to go in here? The pump room. Let's see. Crapcock did 105 inch here and asked, how's my ear feeling? Hold on. What the f- Hit him. Wow, that was wonky. Oh, my ear's feeling better. It's still a little swollen, but 
The swelling went down enough that now my jaw is okay. Because my jaw, I couldn't even, like, chew properly on the right side of my mouth because my jaw was so screwed up. And now my jaw is kind of almost back to normal, which is good. <clears throat> so I just got to keep up with the medicine and she's getting better and better every day. Well, there we go. New crap cock for the top cheer. 105 bits. All right. I think we need to rejoin now. Yep. Okay. Where's the jump pad? They should have jump pad up here. But I don't see it now. Oh, here it is. Will that help me get up here? Does this do anything? Let's see. I think I want to maybe get to the edge somewhere. I'm not sure. Oh, God. Oh, it dropped my input. I pressed jump and it fucking fell. My infection is doing well, TM52 Twitch. Thank you for asking. It's getting much better. Nah, it doesn't seem like you can reach it. I thought maybe you could get to the wall. Let's go inside, I guess. Whoa, what is this? Get it. The Loon Burst game. What is this? 60 seconds in which to score 50 points. I want to hear the rules. It's real simple. Shoot the balloons. Balloons are worth 3 points. Green gets you 2 points. Red just won. Let's see what you can do. Alright. Fair, you scored enough points to win my balloon burst prize. Okay, that's why you gotta go to the top of the castle. I see. You wanna play again? Why would I wanna play again? I already got the prize. Am I enjoying the game so far? Yes, I am. So maybe if I come back as just Kazooie. That side will be open for something extra. <clears throat> Let's find out. Yes! Okay. What is this now? Hoop Curry game. Only do the Hoop Curry challenge 
Your sissy's like a wish to score 30 points. Do you want to hear the rules? Yes. <clears throat> Pretty simple. Jump through the hoops. Blue ones are worth three points. Green ones get you two. I'm going to guess red is one. That's right. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Ah. The problem here is the camera. Ah, oh, shit. You need 50, right? 50 points. No, you can't have. You scored enough points to win my hoop curry prize. Another Jinjo. There you go. Oh, excuse me, Jiggy. Another Jiggy. So there's two Jiggies here. Wanna play again? No, why would I want to play again, right? All right. Well, shout out to. Crab Cock would choose that we are playing Banjo because we nuts and bolts. I don't know. I think it's in this collection, uh, the, the rear replay collection. But so far, people wanted me to play Banjo Tooie before that. So, shout out to the Hedgehog did a 500 bit series. Have you seen the movie, Not Another Teen Movie? <clears throat> you know, I think I saw all the scary movies. I don't know if I saw Not Another Teen Movie. Uh, Crab Cock also did a 600 bit cheer. So, Crab Cock is still the top cheerer with 600 bits. Thank you very much. You know, we should also check out the sub count while I'm here. <clears throat> How are we doing with sub count? 678, so we're exactly the same. And we're at $30 in tips. Thanks to everyone who did tip. I appreciate that. Um, about one third of the way to the tips goal for the day. So thank you. Okay. Well, we got two of the mini games done, right? <clears throat> so I think that's it. Let's get the two, uh, the two jiggies. Uh -huh. I think that's it for this room. See how we're doing on this world, because honestly, I don't remember. Uh, three toes. Four of ten jiggies, two of three honeycombs, one of three pages, three of five jinjos. We got all the upgrades from this world, and 70 of 100 notes. I swear, <clears throat> in world one, which is the Mayan world, I swear there's an upgrade you can get only when you're separated. And I swear there was a separation pattern in World 1 as well. I could be wrong, but I swear I remember that way early on. I said, you can't get this until you're separated. I was like, huh? What does that mean? Hmm. Will I ever play and finish Grabbed by the Ghoulies? Um, <clears throat> maybe. It's also in the Rare Replay collection. I actually liked the game. But when I was playing it, during my coverage of the Rare Replay Collection years and years ago, people basically said they didn't find it too riveting. And I said, well, maybe I'll do it for, like, a Halloween marathon someday or something. But I never really got back to it, so. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Ethan Taylor says if you play as Kaz just Kazooie and use a spring pad, you'll jump even higher. Okay. Thanks for the tip. Okay. What the? Whoa, that didn't look right. Alright, so I don't know what else to do. 
<clears throat> oh, that's right. I can try to do this again. So apparently there's three ways to hit this thing. Someone told me one of them was a grenade egg, as weird as that sounds. It is. That's weird. There we go. So it's grenade egg, regular ground pound, and drill pound. There we go. And now we can get a jiggy. Nice. I never would have figured out it was grenade egg. That's weird. Nice. Okay. That's five jiggies now for this area. I've already been over there. Ow. I've already been over there. I don't know what this is. This isn't open. So I don't know what this is supposed to be. Or how to open it. <clears throat> Let me go up again. Derek, I have no idea how many worlds are in this game. No. Yeah, I can do the cable car ride, and it gives you the space zone, but I need to be able to power the thing. Maybe I could do it now that I can separate. Maybe now I can power the, the, the thing in the space zone. <clears throat> yes, I do remember the Will Smith song, Getting Jiggy With It. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 Getting Jiggy With It. Who wouldn't remember that? So, where was the power source? Was it down here? Saucer of Peril? <clears throat> Shit, it's closed. I gotta figure out how to open that. Maybe this was it. Okay. Let me see if the separation pad is in here. Oh, I like ukulele, Derek. I thought it was good. A fake Jinjo, right? Yep. A fake. Evil fake Jinjo. Oh, no, I need Mumbo, and I don't have Mumbo yet. I don't know where he is. He's hiding out somewhere. I haven't found him yet. What the? Yeah, I can't seem to get up there. Until I find Mumbo, I can't do this. I haven't found Mumbo on this level yet. Hmm. And that's blocked. It looks like you need a vehicle to drive through those doors. A vehicle of some sort. What's this? This also needs Mumbo. I gotta find Mumbo. I already got this ability, whatever it was. Okay. Ow. We already got the burger and the fries. I don't think we can go in there yet. Alright, maybe we gotta go back down to the caves again. What was up here? I don't remember what was up here. I need to climb up here again and figure out what's up there. <laughs> what the hell? That was weird. He ignored me. Here we go. <clears throat> Ow! <clears throat> God damn it. Okay. Alright, here we go. Got him. Yeah, what the hell was up here? Well, we got Wumba. 
But I don't think I ever found the magical guy for Wumba, did I? Yeah, I never found a magical guy to activate the Wumba magic. And here's the car. Wait a minute, did you hear something? I thought I heard a magical sound. Huh. Oh my god, he's right here, seriously? He disappeared. Oh wait, no, I got him. Oh, we gotta turn on the Wumba magic. Did I ever play or any of the games like Pac-Man World? No, I only played the original Pac-Man games on arcades. That was it. <clears throat> so let's see what Wumba does for us. Okay. You become the vehicle. Oh. Okay. Wumba Crawl, this van, van carries much coins. Use left stick to move and press X for horn. Okay. What the heck is this? Should we teleport it down here? I see. You run him over. Uh, okay. So if you remember. Damn. If you remember, we have a. Uh, in the saucer area, there's stuff for this. I don't think there's anything here. No. Let's drive around and see what, what unlocks here. Definitely the saucer area we could use it. Correct. So that was with musical notes. Nothing here, that's Mumbo. So we gotta find where Mumbo is. Where's he hiding? Shadow the Hedgehog did another 500 bits here, and he said, The best part in Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts cars, I do wonder if they'll ever make a Banjo 4 game. I wonder. They, I mean, they probably could make some money on it now. Everyone loves the retro stuff these days, right? If I do it, look, I can't, I can't fall or get hurt here. Yeah, look. Wow, this makes this really easy. Hmm. She won't be till the train's here, but the train is here. Right? The train did show up. I'll only talk to Banjo because we. Ah. Oh. Maybe I gotta come back now the train's here and that dinosaur will leave. <clears throat> I think it's a dead end. Yeah. Grab the eggs. Do I like the van? It's, it's neat, but I gotta figure out how to use it. I haven't found anything useful for it yet. Give it the other side. Can you enter the fearsome furnace of the inferno? Oh! The right is now open. Oh, okay. That's what I needed to do. Camera angle. Let's see what's different down here first. Oh, 
There's a kid, but... Yeah, I can't do anything with the kid. Maybe I need to somehow make the train drive here. But how do I do that? I don't know how to make the train drive here. Maybe I should have done that for World 2. Yeah, maybe. Shit. Mumbo over there, isn't it? Because I've had to separate. Uh. I found a page. Cool. Oh, shit. How do you do this? Oh god, I don't know how you do this. Maybe you don't do it as the car. Yeah, you need to be Kazooie and you use those turbo shoes, I bet. I can just smash like this. Oh my god. This is really stupid. I was doing it. Look at that. Oh, I was driving. I don't know how, but I was driving. Forget it. I could probably do it. I could probably do it if I wanted to, but obviously you're supposed to transform. <laughs> nice. So this is how you get Mumbo. Oh, uh, what's that? I don't even know. Oh, it's a jump pad? A jump pad. Oh, good. I have to be uh, fast travel. Oh, nice! I got the third honeycomb. Let me guess he's not gonna recognize me. He doesn't. I gotta transform back and come back here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. 
Darn, I almost got to the top of the truck. That would have been cool, but kind of frustrating to do it. All right, let's go back to Wumba, transform, and then come back here. Okay. There we go. Very nice. So, I need to have Mumbo do the two things over in the space world. So first, let's do this. Ah, you need to be separated to do this properly. Yep. Ow, my ass. God damn it! Oh. I can't switch back. down at six. Six in this area. Oh, shit. Okay. Now what? There was another thing to do here. Maybe there wasn't. No, there wasn't. Okay, we gotta become Mumbo, and I'm Mumbo walk over to the saucer. And have him do the two things at the saucer. Okay. <clears throat> are pulls strictly on my forums? For now they are. Unless we ever find a viable alternative, but I haven't found one. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Mumbo. <laughs> we got that globo. Yes. <laughs> okay. Go to the saucer area for the two things to power. I already got the fast travel open, which is good. Here we go. Space zone. <clears throat> he ran away. Okay, here we go. 
power. Dodge him, go. Alright, it's one attraction open. Very nice. What? Take that, asshole. Alright, the other one is inside here. Okay. There it is. All right, power the other thing. Star spinner. Aha. Very nice. All right, guys. So we got the two mumbo things enabled. We can get the banjo kazooie back here to get whatever these two things are. Okay. Where's the fast travel? Uh. Shit, where is it? Oh, there it is. Over there. Can <laughs> uh. we have a come back here? We do those. And if you remember, um, there's the spaceship needed power, and now that there's power here, maybe the spaceship can also do whatever its mission is, right? Pilb? No, Plib. Tip me a dollar asking, is there any way that, to clarify if I'm going to play uh, Modern Warfare 2 re uh, remake, campaign remake? Yes, I already said, once I complete one of my major playthroughs, either Final Fantasy 7 or Neo 2, we're going to do something different. And it's one of the considerations is Modern Warfare 2 remake. Uh, another is Streets of Rage 4. Another is Mega Man Zero Collection. Like, There's many things that we could do to break up the gameplay and do some fun, uh, interesting and different stuff, so we'll see. Alright. So now, we go back to the spaceship to do those two areas and see also if that little spaceship itself will do anything now that the power's on, right? Alright, let's check this out first. What do we got here? Dodging Dome? This is where you pay to enter Witchy World's premium attractions. Oh, I gotta go back. I gotta get the car. Alright, that's kind of annoying. Alright, let's do the Star Spinner then, before we go become the car again. Wild Ranger Zero says, can we gift you games for you to try? Well, the thing is, I opened up an Amazon wishlist last year, and then for some reason... Amazon stopped doing codes for games. <laughs> so it was like, oh, I'll set up a system by which people can donate me codes for games and I can play the game. And then they stopped doing it entirely. So really what you can do is you can give me credits for the various different networks like PlayStation Network, Microsoft, etc. And then I can use those credits to buy games. And I do have that on my Amazon wish list. So. Okay, I gotta go this way. There we go. There we go. Oh, shit. How the hell did I not get that? I need health now. Crap. 
I got the jiggy, but ouch. <clears throat> Saints wrote remaster to me a dollar. He says, what do you mean someone paid Andy to give you a video? Shout out. Someone else did this to you before. Yes. Many uh, celebrities, as a way of making money, do paid for video messages. Once I had the Iron Sheik insult me on Twitter because someone paid him to do so. And many different celebrities of various magnitudes do this. So, yes, Andy Dick accepts money in order to do video messages, and that's why he did that video. <clears throat> Trust me, Andy Dick does not know who the fuck I am. Space zone. All right. Now I should be able to do this. Yep. The Bone Joint Dodgems Challenge. To. All right, the ride is open. Cool. Cool. Let's check it out. <laughs> 